Hey guys, so for this video, I want to talk about whether or not you should still switch from controller to keyboard and mouse. This is a question I've been asked a ton recently, and unless you live under a rock, you should know how big the controller versus keyboard and mouse debate has gotten. Players like Ninja and Nick Merckx have called for separate tournaments, while other players like Bizzle and Date think using a controller on PC is cheating. Regardless of what any of them may believe, it's obvious controller is in a pretty strong spot. And to prove my point, one of the best keyboard and mouse players players ever, NRG Epic Whale, fully made the transition over last month. He's not playing hybrid or using a controller to meme, he's actually swapped over for good. Now, as most of you guys know, I've always been a big supporter of players making the switch over from controller to keyboard and mouse. In recent months, however, my sentiment is much different. Therefore, what I'll do to help you guys decide your choice is directly compare the two inputs to see what's better. We'll look at what each of them excels at, what each of them is not so good at, and whether or not those reasonings are enough to switch. Last thing before we start though, is to please keep an open mind regarding what I say. I'm gonna do my best to stay unbiased and not to sway your opinion in one direction. All I ask is that you don't freak out over anything I say, and keep in mind I'm only talking about controller players on PC, not controller on console. With that out of the way, let's finally get into the video. The first advantage of using a controller is 360 degree movement. In Fortnite, keyboard and mouse players can only move their character in 8 different directions. They can move forward by pressing W, to the right by pressing D, to the left by pressing A, and backwards by pressing S. They can also combine W and A or W and D to run forward diagonally, as well as S and A or S and D to move backwards diagonally. Controller players on the other hand have joysticks, meaning they are not limited in their movement at all. If they want to run forward at a 69 degree angle, they can do that. If they want to pull off insane side jumps that are impossible on keyboard and mouse, they can do that too. Any which way or direction they want to move Move, they have the ability to do so, which is huge in close range engagements. Think about all the times you've died because you got stuck on an edit or underneath a build. With controller movement, you could have completely avoided that death and turned the engagement around in your favor. The other benefit controller players have regarding movement is that they can look around wherever they want as they run. This gives them the opportunity to collect information as they rotate and is how they can build to protect themselves while sprinting what almost looks sideways. Keyboard and mouse players simply cannot do this. Anytime they hold down W, their crosshair will dictate where they go and stop them from continuing on sideways. Even with double movement keybinds, this remains the case and is nowhere near as fluid as controller movement. So when it comes to one of the hardest and most overlooked mechanical skills in the game, controller takes the cake for your movement. The next and the biggest reason people are switching over to controller is aim assist. Aim assist is without a doubt the hottest topic in the competitive community. Keyboard and mouse pros think it's overpowered, while most controller players think it's just right. You'll see why I say most in a minute by the way. But why is this debate so heated? To explain, I think we gotta take a step back and fully understand what aim assist is. As the name implies, aim assist helps controller players to aim in game. It's not an aimbot that snaps onto heads from across the map, it's essentially a weak version of a magnet that keeps your crosshair on your opponent. Currently, there are two aim assist options in the game, linear and exponential. Linear uses your raw input, meaning each input on the joystick is the same while exponential means each input will increase in sensitivity depending on how hard you move your joystick. There used to be a third alternative called Legacy, which is where all those absurd clips I showed before came from, but that was recently taken out of the game. The reason these different aim assist settings matter is because they are stronger in different scenarios. Legacy used to be insanely strong from up close and far away due to L2 snapping, Linear is extremely good from mid-range, and Exponential is akin to a toned-down version of Legacy. According to CRR, who is one of the best controller players from EU, it's actually the new aim assist settings that made everyone complain. He thinks linear and exponential are broken, and since every controller player is forced to be on them, it made way too many bad players good. This is why he believes nobody really whined about legacy like they do with the new aim assist settings. Alright, but what makes keyboard and mouse players hate it so much? Outside of aim assist being the sole reason for deaths like these, keyboard and mouse players say that controller players basically have a a robot aiming for them. They contend that even the best mouse aimers in the world, guys like Tifu who put hundreds of thousands of hours into aim training, can never be better than someone with aim assist because of their inhuman reaction times. I'm not gonna say whether or not I believe this to be true, because I want you to form your own opinions. Be aware though that Booty Clap KC did an aim duel test in Creative, where he used a controller for the first time against one of the top aimers on keyboard and mouse, and he destroyed the guy. Therefore, there's no denying, aim assist does 
improve your aim a lot. For the controller argument, it's pretty straightforward and sensible. They maintain they need aim assist in order to compete against the best of the best. By default, they're given flimsy plastic thumbsticks to aim, which are much harder to control compared to your whole arm. I've played on controller for years, and it's hard not to take this as a fact. Controller joysticks have an extremely limited range of motion and way less precision. If they did not have aim assist, it would literally be impossible for them to compete against any half decent keyboard and mouse player. So even if you're against how powerful aim assist is, you really cannot deny that controller players need it. All in all, I think it's evident aim assist on PC is extremely strong. It helps you track your targets better, hit more shots, and do more damage. Additionally, it's a huge reason why Epic Whale and RBK Left Eye have swapped over to controller controller full time. The question remains however, of whether or not it's superior than aiming with your entire arm. The final benefit of using a controller that a lot of people often forget about is reduced bloom. Yes, you heard that correctly, controller players have less bloom and less recoil than keyboard and mouse players. If you don't believe me, watch how my crosshair moves while I full spray with a PS4 controller compared to when I plug in my final mouse Air 58. The difference is jarring. As far as why controller players have reduced bloom and recoil, I honestly do not have an answer. Maybe Epic thought aim assist wasn't enough to level the playing field, or maybe they straight up forgot they added it in the first place. Regardless of the reasoning, reduced bloom and recoil along with aim assist make switching to controller extremely compelling. Onto the benefits of keyboard and mouse, and the first one controller players talk about is scroll wheel reset. All scroll wheel reset refers to is the ability to scroll up or down using your mouse to reset edits. Usually you would have to press your edit button, then hit right click to reset reset the tiles, and finally press your edit button once again to complete the action. This may not seem like that big of a difference, especially when you master the normal way to reset, but it actually is. With scroll wheel reset, you're given so many more ways to outplay your opponent. You can bait them into shooting your wall after you make an edit, or you can quickly reset your wall after you get a shot off to prevent taking damage. The even bigger advantage, however, is just having the peace of mind that you can reset edits insanely quickly. You don't have to worry about messing up the the reset like a controller player would, or even think that your edit won't reset in time. This makes you play a lot more confident and will subconsciously change your entire playstyle even if you don't think it will. So while scroll wheel reset may not let you triple dink people from across the map, it definitely gives you the edge in box fights. Next benefit of keyboard and mouse over controller is having dedicated keybinds for builds and weapons. On controller, if you want to take out your shotgun, you need to scroll over from the current weapon you're on to wherever your shotgun is is in your inventory. On keyboard and mouse though, you just press one key on your keyboard and it instantly pulls out. That means in fights, you don't have to worry about the delay of scrolling over a few slots to find a weapon, and again, have the peace of mind that you'll never choose the wrong gun. Build-wise, the same argument can be applied because controller players need to press their build mode button before placing down a specific build piece. The last, and arguably the most important advantage of keyboard and mouse, is having a higher skill ceiling. When you combine the ability to instantly bring out different builds with much more precision in controlling your crosshair since you're not on a thumbstick, you get a lot more versatility in terms of your mechanics. No controller player in the world, no matter how hard they try or practice, can accurately flick onto a target as well as keyboard and mouse players can. On top of that, no controller player can edit as fast as Raider 464 or build as fast as the Hisense Prodigy, Outcast Bell. That's not to say controller players can't get close, they just can't reach the same mechanics as the best of the best keyboard keyboard and mouse players. To finish up the video, I'm gonna give my personal advice regarding whether or not you should stick to controller or make the switch to keyboard and mouse. Starting with people that are switching from console to PC, I think a lot of your choice depends on how cracked you are on controller. If you're an absolute beast who won a bunch of console tournaments and you really think you have what it takes to be the best on controller, then stay on controller. You'll be way better off in the short and long run, plus you'll have a way higher chance of making more money on PC. Second, for those of you guys who haven't found much success on console, then you'll really need to sit down and weigh all the advantages I've talked about in the video. Please do not feel forced to switch to keyboard and mouse just because you're moving to PC. There's a huge number of controllers
controller players on PC that have improved a ton after getting off console. Not to mention how much more relaxing using a controller is, and how mad you'll make keyboard and mouse players when you kill them. Finally, controller players who are not moving to PC, this really depends on your long-term goals. Do you see yourself ever moving to PC and playing games outside of Fortnite? For those of you that answered yes, go and try out keyboard and mouse. You'll have a ton of fun learning a new input, and hopefully be motivated to put in more time to grind Fortnite. And yes, I know the input delay and mouse acceleration can be annoying, but you will get used to it if you're staying on console. So to sum it up, if you're good on controller, stay on controller. And if you're bad on controller, also stay on controller. In my opinion, only switch to keyboard and mouse if you really want a new challenge and plan to keep playing on that input for the next few years. Overall guys, that's my stance on switching to keyboard and mouse and why many pro players are permanently switching to controller. If you enjoyed the video, then do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerian. We just passed 600,000 subscribers, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.